Hello everybody, my name is Alex and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a tutorial that a subscriber asked me to do for the song uh, Hacking to the Gate by Kanako Ito. I'm gonna be doing a fingerstyle arrangement of the song or a tutorial on my interpretation on my fingerstyle arrangement of the song. I'm not gonna be using a capo so it's, it's just gonna be A minor. So uh, I think she sings it from D minor and you can use a capo for that. Put one on the fifth fret and got it, and get it on the right key. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be doing it in A minor. I know I look pale, but it's just a thing of the camera. So, uh, okay, let's start. So, in the in my right hand, I'm going to be using claw hammer kind of style, like Mark Knopfler playing something like this, you know, normally, and uh, then a little bit of plucking too. And my intro starts with So this is basically just this line, right? Uh, and I'm alternating in the bass between a clean A and a C just to give it a bit more of a spice. So That's all I'm doing really, so. Uh. And then. I'm gonna be using a lot of thumb over because I I'm come from Mark Knopfler, Chet Atkins, Travis school of playing, so this is my F. Uh. So thumb over top, F chord, and then, so usually I'll do a bit of plucking, like, just to get a bit of extra. So, bass, bass, pluck, hit, pluck. So, I lift either both or just my index. To get that da 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 six, and then this is my E. I mute this string either with the top of my middle finger or I just don't play it. So. here you can do a bar and play this like played as an augmented chord here just for a split second it doesn't really matter I think I do G sharp here over here it's an E you can even do like a, an E7 like a So I do this sort of line just to get to the F. So da major seven, F major seven. Da 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 da. Okay, let's go slow because it's the melody is a bit tricky to get like all the right notes, and I'm not even sure I get all the right notes. Plus. The way I've changed, uh, the way I've, hmm, the way I play this has changed over the years because my last video, the, the video I did of this finger style tune was like two years ago or something. So I've, I've, I've excelled since then. I've, I've developed rather so, uh, so um, da, da, da. the thing is when you're doing, uh, when there's a note on the downstroke you need to be accurate with your um, uh, 
what would you call this strum i guess with your hit so that you get the right note and not something else because I, this happens to me all the time i try to play a song like this or another finger style song that's very complicated in terms of the melody and i hit a wrong string so you got to be careful and practice and you know take it easy so for instance here you need to be careful this is another way I do it so this is my G major chord G with the thumb and then I mute this or I just don't play it normally I don't play it I don't bother muting it but you can mute it with your thumb and then that means you have free fingers to do So sometimes you hear me, you'll hear me do this. I think I do it in the in the original. Oh. Also, this is an E minor, right? So I don't play the the, the A string, or I mute it. I think normally I just don't play it. Now we get to a D sus chord. It's important to for it to be sus because the two of the chord is part of the melody. So and uh, This is a very hard part to get right with the strumming and everything. So as soon as you get back to the A minor, you can do this. And I like to do this with plucking, so I also pluck. I do this, just to get give extra power. So, um... Ta -da 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 -da. Sometimes I even do like an A minor with a C over it, just for to create variety. So, so this is just thumb. usually like to like sort of flamenco strum the death major 7 to get back into this uh, loop so Or seven. Here I. Da, 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 da. So, uh, what was it? Da, da, da. Yeah. I do this just sort of going back just to create some sort of dynamic movement. So again. So here, as you can tell, my F has changed. I added this. I don't know why I do it this way. I don't know if I even do it this way all the time in this part. But anyway, here the, the rhythm changes of the song. So uh, whereas previously it was sort of like... Here I, I feel sort of a more like bass on the one and then again on the one and just try to give a bit more space for the groove sort of it, if you listen to the recording you can tell that it changes 
I'm trying to get the focus right. So, um, da 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 da. So here, to get this groove, you might try plucking a little bit, playing bass once per bar instead of two, twice, which we, we did before because we did uh, this, you know, so bass, pluck, strum, pluck, bass, you know, so. Right? But, but now we can get it like, uh, da -da -da -da. So just trying to get some uh, something more like a, I don't know, something different, something more more soft, subtler. So. Uh, da -da -da -da. do with like no rhythm behind it so E minor and my fingers are like this because I need to get the melody so so this is a D major with a F sharp in the bass uh, I do this to have something to pluck on the bass that's not down below because I get confused and it helps to keep the bass on the um, top strings or bottom strings rather. So this is an A minor seven. So here you don't even need to put anything here because it's not going to be in the melody, so we don't care. You can just do like this for a D shape. Uh, here you can also do the... So just add a little percussive thing. If you want to do that to the rhythm, you can just keep it like this, like we did before. But I like to do... Just a bit more uh, to create variety. So here, uh, <laughs> you need to do this G just to get this. I do it with my middle finger. What I'm doing here I, is I know I'm gonna need to use this for the melody, even though it's a seventh for the E minor. Uh, so da -da -da, da -da -da, I add it, da -da 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 -da. and sometimes when I, I I'm already like this because I know I'll get back here to a D chord and it's somehow. feels more natural to do this instead of like 
just with the single finger, it's hard. I feel like it's harder to go back to a D without um, doing something like this. With, with the second finger, it helps me move back into the D better. So. Now, you can do just a normal da da da, but sometimes I'll do. Da. I don't know why, it doesn't really make any sense, just do a normal one. Now here, typically it's, it's I think it's kind of wrong what I do, but like... So you, like, I, I prepare for B7 of this, this sword because I need this note, so... I put it, da, 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 but then I need the, right? So I need to lift the bar somehow, but then I, <laughs> I get on augmented sound or something. Like it just doesn't sound very good. It's no, because normally you only need to um, free this, but this should remain the same. But because I can't be bothered, I just lift it whole, and it creates this weird sound. Which I mean, if you're into that, it's nice, but. It's, I do it because of lack of control, not a, because I like it. So, E minor 9, E minor, B7, sort of like a D shape even though there's no bass here because I want to use the finger so it's like a it starts from the third or something I don't know and that's really the song in its entirety or the intro uh, yeah a lot of info I guess and lots of hacks and shit but uh, this is this is how I do it I hope it wasn't too fast you can always slow down this video by the way hope it was clear and yeah thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one so Erpsai Kongru